Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for October 2022. What exactly is happening with Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know about October 2022? What do they need to know about October 2022? This was there in Virgo also. We started the reading with Fool card. Maybe it is, uh, maybe you have Virgo in your birth chart or you are somehow. Um, interested or asking about a Virgo so do check out that reading as well for as a cross watcher or as your another sign and I do see a lot of work on something new so a new start a fresh beginning a new start that is what your focus is on and uh, this is actually a beginning where you're trusting the universe where you're uh, not trying to control things but you're putting your best foot forward and it's definitely going to pay off in the best way possible because that is exactly how you can turn things around or how you can have a nice start for anything what Whatever you're trying to manifest so I'm seeing you uh, putting in lots of efforts to develop some skills to do good so uh, suppose you're starting a I'm just giving an example for suppose you're starting a complete new YouTube channel what you're doing is you're being consistent you're putting in efforts you're trying to uh, show your best uh, self uh, in that situation you are trying to be consistent and dedicated to this and it's going to definitely pay off this is a very good very good beginning fresh start a first card of tarot so yes it's definitely working in uh, how it's supposed to work it's uh, something where i can see uh, some innocence also i can see some loyalty also so those are also things which are important but more i'm seeing is dedication hard work which is going to pay off so your october is a, 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 the month where you're actually working on yourself or working on some uh, project which is very important really important project which is like a life turning life changing project right like you're writing a book which will definitely uh, be very well appreciated and you're going to work very hard on this on that book for the whole month or you're starting something new like a youtube channel we talked about and yes this is definitely going to be a very good choice for you this is a very uh, a nice choice something which is work going to work in your favor this, if this is a new relationship which you're stepping into then i do see that relationship taking um going to the uh going to the next level a higher commitment something where you both understand that this is a an important connection this is an important relationship we i see harmony i see a relationship building uh, up i see you being patient about this situation uh, and not trying to force things not trying to be desperate not trying trying to feel like you're losing hope or something like that i see you not losing your patience at all being very patient in this situation you know that this will take time you know that this takes work you know that this is this will take some efforts from your side and you're not you're not angry about it you're in fact ready to give up or give the time the attention the details the meditation the contemplation whatever is needed in this situation this is an important situation this can be if someone is studying and they know that this is going to take take some time for you to finish this is going to take some time for you to complete and you're very happy to devote that time and energy in this situation because this because you know once this is done once this is completed once you are in this uh, in this relationship which you want once this is manifested once this is built this is your dream come true this is a wish come true so you are ready to put in in uh, put in work ready to put in time ready to put in patience and also ready to Put in your mental energy, your physical, your sorry, your emotional energy, your spiritual energy by meditating, by visualizing, by contemplating, by, uh, <coughs> sorry, by planning, thinking uh, about this, and not getting distracted by anything else while you are trying to manifest or trying to complete or bring this into reality, or work on this. So there is you're working on something either relationship or a project which is very important for you and this and you know that it takes your it will take like a lot of dedication from your side and you're ready to put in because you know it's worth it whatever you're working on you know the the hard work is worth it and i do see you coming confidently out of this situation so we're starting from the fool and now we have the death card over here so i do see you walking out come very happy with the results of this situation so this might come in the scorpio season now the scorpio season is in 
in the end of october and november so i do feel that the end of october is going to be very important for all of us because in the end of october when uh, uh, when there is a full new moon sorry new moon at the end of october that time is uh, the diwali time that time is the time when all the planets are uh, going direct all the planets are going to be you know after so much retrogression and conjunction after so much confusion there is going to be a bit of clarity there is going to be a bit of uh, things hap uh, happening as they supposed to happen not much of um, things up in the air or things being um, push not much of a push and pull but everything going flow the the flow will be smoother and better so i do see that end of the oct or october you coming out of this situation whatever you put in your blood sweat energy into as a winner because death is a strong archetype we have the very strong scorpio gemini leo energy for you so you might have these signs in your birth chart or you are interested in a person who has these signs in their birth chart so the death is talking about transformation transition so you're going from the fool who's like a naive who's like someone uh like a rookie like a like a new person entering a field and you're ca and you're putting in lot of efforts into this and coming out as a champion coming out as someone who's uh, like a professional so you're going from an amateur to a professional going from someone who's just training who's just an entry level person to someone who has a nice uh, who understands how the in and outs of this environment in and outs of how these things work over here so that is what i'm seeing so whatever you're studying working on you're coming out as a winner from it so it's a very good thing and so that transition is happening and you are also ending a phase in your life so this might be like your end if it is related to love so you're ending the lonely phase of your life if it is related to you were not uh, you were maybe um you were not earning uh, enough in the past and now you're going to end that phase and now you're going to earn more than enough so you're ending one part one phase of your life and this is actually a winning opportunity the sun is shining over here so it's not a bad ending it's an ending which will make you happy like you're ending something which was not working for you or which was not good enough for you and now you're happy for them from this situation so it's a very good start for you sagittarius the end of this month end of october is going to be very important for you and it's going to be good for you so i do see clarity also coming towards you so once you're like a um uh, once you're someone who has all this knowledge all this uh, experience the success in this field i do see you being very clear about this that what what is important where you need to uh, focus your energy you're taking all this uh, lessons very seriously and you're going to put you're going to apply these lessons everywhere in your life yes you're working on some kind of passion some kind of passion some kind of inner calling i do see you be, uh, being very stable in your life as well so you might even have a earth sign in your life which is important that can be a, a virgo taurus capricorn and the other signs which we are seeing are clearly scorpio gemini leo so with the judgment card talks about rebirth inner calling so you're feeling like you have a complete new life now you have built this life by your own self you have created this life on your own self a complete new life which is uh, where your passion now this passion can be related to a relationship related to a person or it passion can be related to a career a, your passion is the center of your new world it's it's the most important part of your new world so either a, a very important relationship the person you're going to end up marrying because the king of pentacle is a spouse king of pentacle is husband material or wife material so there is a uh, some a very important connection which is developing at the end of this year this connection will be like the center of your universe this relationship will be very important for you uh and you'll be very clear about your position your situation in this in this relationship or this is a career for some of you where this even the king of pentacles when it when we uh, think about career king of pentacles is very well established is uh, like a business owner or like a self employed person so has a leadership pers uh, uh, personality and has security stability so in both situation be it personal or professional i'm seeing you feeling more secured and stable at the end of this month and this security and stability comes from your own hard work it's not something which uh, you're getting by being lucky it's something which you're earning this is literally earned security earned hard work earned skill talent reward recognition whatever you're going to uh, whatever you you're going to be appreciated or proud of or people are going to congratulate you at the end of this month is going to be something which you worked 
hard fall yes emperor wow look at this emperor so we have the king of pentacles and the emperor so i'm seeing you doing very well uh, either in your business because these are business men, men over here or business women take it as it resonates these are someone who are definitely very well established in whatever path they are choosing and uh, even when it comes to um, uh, relationship i do see these these are marriage but these are actually husbands husbands in the cards so the emperor is also a father figure so i do see this connection being uh, reaching uh, the level of you know marriage the level of chill uh, le level of having a family so yes that is what will happen or though that clarity will come in the um and at the end of this month i do see you being resilient over here i do see you fighting for this i do see you putting in lot of efforts into this even when things feel like they are not working out or when you start seeing something which you don't like in this situation because no, not every path is smooth sailing sometimes we are uh, surprised by some obstacles surprised by some things which we are not Uh, prepared for so some these kind of issues may come up but that's not going to waver you it's not going to uh, make you scared at all you're going to keep on moving so the eight of um, sorry the nine of wands is uh, facing the challenge not ready to uh, not ready not scared by the challenge it's uh, it's about uh, perseverance it's about persistence it's about resilience it's about uh, bring it on i'm ready to take you down that kind of uh, energy it's about courage it's about your uh, your you are in your place of faith even if uh right before your manifestation happens you might your faith might be challenged you might uh, be given some kind of scare uh and your your standing strong in that situation that i don't care i'm not going to be scared of this i know what i have earned i know my own value i know how i i uh what what was that word i um, deserve this i have worked for this it's mine already no one can say no to this this is mine already that is the energy you are you are embodying at the end of this month and that is why you will get your manifestation because before the sunrise it's the night is the darkest that is what will happen your your faith will be tested at before you get your manifestation it happens every time and yes this is the outcome this is the outcome if you stay in that place of faith if you stay in that place of power if you don't waver if you don't scare get scared by any distraction by any things which uh, the which um, you know is being thrown at you that um, maybe you are not going to maybe this work was not enough or maybe uh, you are not going to be you are not going to get what you were trying to get if that kind of fear comes in front of you and you stay in your place of faith you don't give up you keep on fighting you keep on working you don't let this scare you you don't let let this distract you or derail you from your path then you reach ultimate happiness ultimate bliss you reach this place where i i do have a very strong feeling like if this is related to marriage or a family or relationship i do see you getting all your wishes come true like every all your wishes are be are being fulfilled over here divine love blissful relationship harmony alignment there are three cards showing marriage over here or four cards actually lovers king of pentacles emperor and the 10 of cups so all these cards are showing marriage over here for me and if it is related to only career you are not interested in love that is not something which you are looking for if that is the situation then still i'm seeing your wishes come true because the 10 of cups is being happy with whatever you have so some person might be uh, happy in their uh, small house with a small family and uh, their small bless whatever blessings they have and some people might be miserable in a mansion as well so that so it does it depends on people to people but i see you being happy with whatever your situation whatever your outcome is whatever your where whatever you will consider as divine bliss whatever you will consider as your own heaven on earth that is what you are getting at the end of this month but you will be tested for sure before this comes before this comes you will be tested by sure uh, your faith will be tested your strength will be tested you will be tested that are you ready to see if you are actually ready for the blessing are you actually ready for the manifestation so if you stay in your power because the king of pentacles and the emperor also very stubborn energy very powerful energy they will not budge if you don't not if you not but if you don't budge sorry you are definitely getting blessed with whatever you are trying to bring in into your reality let's go so for some oracle guidance sagittarius that was a beautiful reading wasn't it i'm very happy for you i have my uh, rising and moon in sagittarius 
you you can check all four sun moon rising venus to get maximum guidance from this reading for this month so this reading means a lot for me as well high priestess harness mystic power yes you are stepping into your power you're being very bold we have this bold black cat over here we have this very powerful wand the high priestess has we are see, even the the similar wand the emperor has over here so i'm seeing you being uh, in your power be like not not letting anything come and tell you that you know what you're not going to get this you know what this is a too big of a dream to uh, be manifested you know what the uh, things are not in your favor you know uh, there is a very very rare chance that your wish will be fulfilled but you stay being in your power you saying i don't give a damn what anyone else thinks i know i deserve this i know my power i'm going to get it i am good enough or i am powerful enough to get these manifestation harness mystic power high priestess very powerful energy where i'm seeing you not wavering and trusting your own power and trusting the divine or whoever you believe in whoever you have faith in your your first card the fool starts with leap of faith and you don't and your your faith will be tested nearly at the end but if you stand in your power you definitely can achieve all that you are dreaming about and more uh this is also the card of divine feminine we were getting divine masculine but now we are getting divine feminine over here this is also a card of knowledge so if uh, whenever you're having doubts or fears uh, you're being called to work on your uh, spiritual knowledge as well work on your inner power or as well work on your inner strength as well so in a knowledge in a strength in knowing more about spirituality that will also help you manifest your desired results let's see what more the oracle cards have to say oh wow cloak of wisdom you already know the answer you seek trust what you know so again i'm seeing that magical wand over here so i'm seeing you creating like a magic wand creating your life creating magic in your life um getting whatever you want so this is the and this is coming from wisdom this is coming from work this is coming from patience and this is coming from not letting anything distract you so there is definitely a lot of wisdom in you or you are going to step into place of a lot of wisdom a um, lot of knowledge and that is going to help you bring this into reality this wand is somehow a very interesting the the wand over here the wand the emperor is holding even the king of pentacles has a kind of wand over here we are seeing this person holding on to this wand uh, i'm seeing this um, death archetype with this flag so i'm seeing this this you know being in your power having this i have this this is my power this is my strength i'm not going to let anything waver me not going to let anything uh, keep me from my blessings that kind of very stubborn energy i'm facing is seeing over here like i'm i i know i this is mine and i'm going to get it nothing can stand in my way balance thank you angels for balancing uh, bringing my life into balance wow so, so if you're feeling that your life is not in balance maybe that should be your priority right now and by going within by increasing your inner knowledge that is how you will bring your life into balance so passion so if this is related to romantic situation i see a passionate connection allow your heart and soul to sing with joy wait worth for way i did talk about weight we have this weight card over here with seven of pentacles even four of cups has a energy of waiting so worth the wait so this will be a bit uh, like you will be tested by your patience as well so have patience the um, things are going to unfold in its own timings don't lose your mind or your magic or your balance during the wait time separation this must be the reason you're being so you're feeling so anxious because maybe you're right now separated from your person time apart from your partner is on the horizon and this per this separation is maybe making you uh, anxious there might be religious reason involved reasons because of which there are some problems in your connection in your this is not going to match everyone obviously take it as it resonates it's a general reading give your relationship a chance work on your partnership yes you are definitely working on either your relationship 
or partnership or your own power so that you can manifest the a relationship of your desire and reconciliation so if you are if though those who are in separation reconciliation is in your cards that is definitely going to come so for those who are being anxious about will we be back together yes that there, there is a possibility of that having but uh, it will only happen if you stay in your power which we saw with the nine of wands over here if you stay in your power you will definitely be back with the person you are separated from and if you don't want to be back with a with an ex then this might be a person from your past life take it as it resonates not this message is different for everyone so this is what i have for you sagittarius i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you again for being here i'll see you in my next one